Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and we are back on The Witcher 3. Going to be doing the Ugly Baby quest. So let's, uh, let's get this underway. Let's go ahead and fast travel. Need to get out of Skellige. And is he in Velen? I think he is. He's up near the top, isn't he? No, top's Novigrad. Um... How is he at? Where the hell is his castle at? Um, where the hell is his castle? Okay, nothing is over that one. Is it one? What the hell? Where is it? Um, what the hell? Where is it? It is... Oh my god. It's not in White Orchard, is it? No. It can't... No. It's in Velen. Now, where is it in Velen? Okay, you know what? We're gonna do it like this. Go to the top of the map. Okay, and we'll just we'll just slide it down. Okay, so nothing. Okay, swipe it back up. This is it, isn't it? I swear this is it. Right there. We're gonna try it. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go to Crow's Perch. I think that's it. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Alright. Go ahead. Got a. Alright, let's go ahead and load in here, game. Probably should have saved you guys three minutes of your lives and uh, just tried to figure out where to fast travel before the video. It's a good thing I don't have work at 8 a.m. tomorrow because I'm tired today for some reason. And I'll be up till midnight probably, maybe later. All right, game. Any time now. Yeah, this is the Baron's castle. Yeah. I don't know why it wasn't showing up on the map. That was stupid. I don't get why games do that to me. Let's go ahead and run up here. Why, Geralt, why did you stop running? <laughs> Get out of my way, peasant. And we need to go talk to this homie. Let's go ahead head up here. Sergeant, time to give over Yuma. And of course I can't talk to him. Why would the game work how it's supposed to? Why? Why would it? Why would it? Why would they do it?
Alright. Please let me talk to him. Thank God. I'm sick and tired of having to rest. About? Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error. A mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Thanks, homie, for giving me. Ow! What the hell? Well, bring out the gimp. What the hell? Why am I down here? I'm in the basement. We'll wake him up now, won't you? Hold on one second. My laptop is playing the previous episode for some reason. Must have gotten done rendering. There we go. Okay, let's get out of here. Hey, man. Talk to the stable guy. Get Yuma. Head on out. I'm taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses? Huh? <laughs> that one of your Witcher games? Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door. Now. Hey, little guy. This here's Roach. She'll take us to Kaer Morhen. Well, come on. What the? Quit playing around. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Had to care more, you know, already. Sick of messing around with this, this little shit. We gonna rock and roll here. We just chilling. We just chilling, watching a loading screen. No, no big deal. Loading screen for days. Oh, but I really have sitting here, yawning, and thinking about how much I hate that freaking island that's coming up. That's when you know you just dread something. <sighs> Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. 
dude's just, that dude's like proud of himself. He's like, oh yeah, I'm a I'm a badass. Why are they like riding like that around me? They look like idiots. Can we just ride in a formation and get this shit over with? Ain't nobody wanna talk to the Emperor. Nobody likes the Emperor. My, my PVR was trying to figure out why there was a black screen. <laughs> I wonder if that'll show up in the video. It like and it messed the third up the army colors. Will sweep in from the west to take Banglin. If I may, Your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. As you wish, your majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say, for your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse. Someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries. But to lift it, I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... The fail Elen, Kedmil Fali, Gladiv Dorn Eptened, Bandro Ithne Iacus. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Wouldn't count on that happening. That was no request. It was an order, Geralt. And I advise you well. Do not disobey me. This audience is over. Till the next... I'm rolling in crowns now. We know that. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt. Forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry. We'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here. Probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off.
His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin. Alright. Shit's getting interesting now. Time to go to Kaer Morhen. Woo! Coming up soon is a whole cutscene. Like episode will be just the the uh the turning Yuma back into Avalok. Uh, I might not even I don't know if I'll even commentate that episode. I didn't do it in the last time. Actually the audio messed up, but I felt like that was a perfectly fine episode without me commentating at all. Fortress. Someone's been slacking off. Ah, and there's Kara Morheen. There it is. away quite a while too long and your journey how was it calm if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back passenger got a little restless <laughs> mm. what have we here Multiple deformities, eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair, a lip, and is this... Now, now, calm down. Yennefer was right on one count. Thing sure isn't pretty. Yen's here already. And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in, not even a nice to see you, jumps right into a we've a curse to lift, there's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things through the bed off the balcony. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm hmm And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. Alright, let's help Yennefer fix the Megascope. Then we'll do Eskel and Lambert in the next episode. I'm actually excited to finish this playthrough up. You know, obviously get my achievements, because I'm an achievement whore. And then... I'm really excited to then get into... Am I even going the right way? I think so. Then I'm excited to get into my playthrough. Once again, on the easiest difficulty, um, just... Oh, shit! Oh, damn, no! Holy hell! It's not what was supposed to happen. Oh, my God. Where am I? Is this the right way? But, um... I want to find out what ending up with Triss is all about. Oh, 
water. <laughs> Please tell me I'm going. I don't even know. Oh god. Okay. I am going the right way, I think. Really? Really, game? Okay, I think I took probably the longest way possible in the history of the world, but hey, we got here. Jump over. Head on in. Let's go talk to Yennefer. I can't run in here. Leaking again. Damn it. No, I run like so damn slow. This is ridiculous. I can't fit through that. Oh, door. Okay, through here. And now, time to head on up. Wait, 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 wait. Speaking of Kara Morheen, I wonder if I can find Kira. I wonder if she's here, because I told her to come. God damn it, you piece of shit! Oh. to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm. Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail Spinal Fluid, the other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. All right, I'll talk to them. Anything else? Yes. There's one other trifling matter. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby. Generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta. Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Hey, Yennefer, don't make fun of my juvenile wit. Ah, my witty banter. One more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. Don't make fun of my witty banter. I know how to use the POTUS. Whatever it's called. The Potus Asquitter. The Potestiquister. What kind of a name is that? How do you come up with that? Who sits down and is like, you know what? Let's put the Potequister into this game. Like, who comes up with that name? Someone is talented. Like, how do you come up? How the hell do you sit down and are like, oh, Potequister? Yeah, we know what that is. Alright. It's over here, isn't it? So, Yennefer found a ball. Mounted Witchering just never took off. <laughs> when you know where you need to look. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the Megascope doesn't work. Alright, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Uma. 
not so. Uncle Vesemir. Uncle well Vesem done. Unky Vesemir. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Okay, let Yennefer know you removed the source of the disturbance. It's much easier knowing some of the things I do now. It makes this a whole lot easier. Oops. I wonder where Kira is here. I wonder where they put her. Because she does have that one thing that lets you reset your skill points. I might want to do that because I got points into Igni because I wanted to get... But I'm not leveling up nearly as high, so... Hence it presents an issue. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? No, he probably knew. But that's the sort of prank you only pull on someone you like. You don't suppose he... Lambert? Really? I'm flattered. But no matter. More importantly, I shall finally be able to contact Ida. The Ida? Elvin Sage? What do you want from her? Stay and you'll learn for yourself. Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kednell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Kedmil in Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Vafel Elaine, Kedmil Foli, Gledev Don Eptenid, Bondro Isne Iacus. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse, but I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. Let me guess. You want something in return. If I may, Gwynblade, I'd like to request... Stop guessing. Just listen. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade. For you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar, despite my asking you not to. I'm sorry. It's just when Ida started in with that patronizing tone. You decided to prove she was completely justified to adopt that attitude. Well done, Geralt. Bravo. Oh, oh, enough. Finish whatever it was you and the boys were planning to do. Then we'll begin. Alright, so I'm going to cut the episode here. We need to talk to Lambert and help Estel. So we will be doing that. In the, uh, in the next episode. So I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys then.